so that um, fight or flight response that I, that I mentioned earlier and that increase in adrenaline and noradrenaline that occurs during a panic attack, if one experiences repeated uh, episodes of that, um, what we know now uh, out of uh, Emory University, there was, there was a large study that looked at uh, chronic stress or chronic insults uh, from a stress standpoint. Um, and what they found was that uh, people who suffer from chronic panic attacks have a 25 to 40% increased risk of, of negative cardiovascular outcomes over their lifespan. And why is that? So when you increase these uh, stress hormones, uh, the blood vessel tone increases, so you get um, uh, narrowing of the blood vessels, hardening of the blood vessels over time. You're, these hormones also increase inflammation and and you can check that uh, in the blood and you'll see inflammatory markers go up. Uh, the blood pressure goes up, the pulse goes up. This puts stress on the body and on the heart. And over time with repeated stresses, you can end up with chronic conditions. So we see people with high blood pressure. We see people with um, uh, um, coronary artery disease from the inflammation in the blood vessels, uh, damaging the walls of the vessels and leading to plaque buildup. Um, and so we see, uh, you know, one condition that many may be familiar with is uh, broken heart syndrome. So this occurs when you have a sudden huge increase in these adrenaline uh, hormones where the heart becomes overcome with all that adrenaline and just says, time out. And this stops. is actually a medical condition. Yes. This is not just I broke up with my boyfriend last week and lost 10 pounds. Oh, that may trigger it, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but there's physio yes, physiological mm -hmm. Yes, physiologically, impact. and you can see it anatomically.